Also in the letter, Wolf says that Mizzou stands to lose as much as $25 million from the campus unrest. He thinks the protest turned away prospective students. And new tonight, 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall talked with one of those potential prospects of students there at Mizzou, a senior, and she talks about her decision. Dia. Yeah, Mike, that's right. Kayla is graduating in May from Shawnee Mission Northwest, and she's applied to Mizzou. But like so many other prospective students, the protests on campus last year are a consideration in her final decision. Langston, Florida A&M, North Carolina A&T, Livingston, Alabama A&M, and Mizzou. A long list of college applications to earn one degree. It's exciting but nerve-wracking as well. Kayla Henderson has her sights set on a journalism degree. So naturally, she considered Mizzou with its nationally acclaimed program. <laughs> But last fall, eyes across the country turned to these protests over the racial climate at MU. I applied to Mizzou before the whole incident happened. And then when I found out about the incident, I was kind of like bittersweet about like, should I go here or no? She's not alone. The university has reported a 5% drop in applications for the fall. And an email sent by former president Tim Wolf says more than $25 million has been lost due to the decrease in tuition and fees, due in part to the protests on campus. It's a catch-22 because it's my child, you know. <laughs> you don't want her to face those things, but, you know, because you're not there to, to be there with her. Kayla's mom says the choice is up to her daughter. If she went there, fine. I would, of course, keep praying and <laughs> as she would go anywhere. But if not, then I'm okay with that as well. Kayla is not concerned about the controversy. It really doesn't matter because I'm just trying to go there for my education. Last fall, Mizzou reported record enrollment of 35,000 students. The goal now is to increase that to 38,000. Another interesting note in that email from Wolf, he says the loss in state funding alone could be up to $500 million. In the studio, Dia Wall, 41 Action News.